Hello YouTube. In this video we're going to take a look at how well the Pentium 2 project that I introduced in the previous video performs in games. I've selected a mix of different genres, years and different APIs. There is one DOS game included which is Grand Theft Auto 1 running in 3DFX glide mode just like Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit and Unreal Tournament. Quake 2 also uses a 3DFX API but it's running in 3DFX OpenGL mode. The remainder of the games, Age of Empires 1, The Sims, LEGO Racers and Populous 3 The Beginning run in Direct 3D or Direct Draw mode. The system is built around a Pentium 2 400MHz CPU with a Deschute core, 256MB of PC100 RAM, 3DFX Voodoo 3 2000 manufactured by Alpin, and an ASUS P2BF motherboard. The operating system is Windows 98 Second Edition, as you can clearly tell. Please note that the capture card that I used was intended for digitizing VHS tapes and not for capturing a video from a PC, so the image quality is a bit low, the resolution is limited to uh, PAL 720 by 576 uh, interlaced 25 frames per second video. And uh, yeah, this is why some of the gameplay may appear laggy to you. I will elaborate on the actual performance per game uh, as we go along in the video. So let's get started. The first game I tested on the system was Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit, which was released in 1998. It's running in 3D effects glide mode, and it's lo looking absolutely gorgeous, and uh, it's working great. Frame rates are very, very nice. I never noticed any lags, stutters, or slowdowns. It runs absolutely perfectly on its Pentium 2, and uh, this 3D effects voodoo combo that uh, I'm running here. Sound is working properly, which is powered by the Sound Blaster AWE64 value, and overall it is a very nice game experience. Now I'll just stop talking for a bit and you can enjoy some gameplay that I've recorded on the system. Grand Theft Auto 1. This is the game that I really played when I was way, way too young. When I was about four years old, I already started playing this. And it was, uh, all I did was pre pretty much just steal cars and collect them and put them all in a parking lot and then just blow them up. I didn't really drive over people or kill them or anything. I just had fun with, with driving my cars and stuff like that. And uh, it runs absolutely beautifully in this uh, on this computer. It's running in 800 by 600 resolution, 16-bit color and uh, it performs absolutely magnificently. No complaints whatsoever. So yeah, I had some fun, so uh, take a look at the video and it'll speak for itself.
Next up is one of my all-time favorites, Quake 2. This game also runs beautifully on this Pentium 2 system, uh, combined with this uh, 3D effects Voodoo running in OpenGL 3D effects mode, running at 800 by 600 again, and uh, there were no stutters or uh, frame drops to speak of. The game runs absolutely beautifully. Again, no complaints whatsoever. Now, this is the heaviest game of the bunch. This is Unreal Tournament from 1999, Game of the Year Edition, running in 3D effects glide mode, 16 bit color, 800 by 600 resolution. And this is the only game out of all of them that doesn't really run perfectly. In the larger maps, with more bots than pretty much four, um, frame drops are quite frequent and very, very harsh. You can definitely feel the frame rate dip a long way down. However, in the smaller maps with fewer bots and maybe at lower resolutions, this game will run perfectly fine most of the time. Uh, you can definitely tell in the last clip that was on the map Heal Bot 2, the game handled absolutely perfectly. So, just sit back and enjoy the gameplay of this game that has, in my opinion, the best 90s atmosphere of all the shooters at the time. First blood.
This is the last violent game of the bunch. Well, sorta. Of. This is uh, Age of Empires, the very first game. Uh, runs very well on this computer again. So yeah, even a lot of units and action going on. There are no slowdowns whatsoever. Not even in this deathmatch that I did for these clips. And uh, yeah, overall it's a very very nice running game. And uh, gameplay is absolutely spot on on this computer. So just enjoy the gameplay. This is the truly last violent game of the lineup. This is Populous Street The Beginning by Bullfrog, released in 1998. This is uh, running in direct 3D mode. Pretty uh, pretty looking game. Uh, performance is very good on the Pentium 2. Um, occasional light stuttering here and there. Might be some optimization thing. Who knows. Um, overall the game runs very well. Even with a lot of units on screen and uh, doing all kinds of stuff, no stars there, so that's good. So overall, it's 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 a quite a nice experience, I have to say. And uh, you know, a little bit of a backstory behind this game. I uh, I started, or I got to know this game because it was uh, it came as a demo version on my SimCity 3000 CD. And uh, these days, I have the full version and absolutely like it. It's it's on GOG, by the way, if you're interested. So for now, enjoy more gameplay.
Gina. Ah, the Sims. A game with two faces. On one hand, it's very fun to play around and make your own house, and you can kill people as well. Isn't that just nice? <laughs> Anyways, um, the game runs okay on this Pentium 2. It doesn't run terribly well. Um, it does stutter here and there, but it is fully playable. It's just that once you go to uh, super speed mode, you definitely notice that the CPU is not quite up to the task. It's uh, It lags a little bit here and there. But uh, overall the game is very playable. It's just not, it just doesn't run as great as it could on, for instance, a Pentium 3 or a Pentium 4. So, to get a better idea of these two phases of this game, just take a look at the gameplay. And lastly, to finish on a more childish note, LEGO Racers. <laughs> One of my favorite childhood racing games, and uh, I really figured that I needed to put this in here, so I did. So, well, there's not really much to say. Um, the game runs very well. Uh, a little bit of a stutter here and there, but uh, nothing game-breaking. It's very, very playable. Um, looks good, handles well, so uh, no, no real complaints here either. So I guess we can conclude that the uh, Pentium 2 machine is uh, doing its job very, very well. Uh, 
there are a few games from the very, very late 90s and the early millennium that are sort of so so in terms of performance. But it's pretty good. And uh, I'm going to end the video after these clips. So I thank you all for watching in advance. And I'll see you guys in the next video.